Good morning. Good morning. Good How morning. are you? Julie, you're in the wrong spot. You're supposed to be in here. Julie. <laughs> How's it going this morning? It's going. It's going. Had a rough weekend, but. Really? Yeah. I got my second shot on Saturday, and yesterday it felt like a Mack truck ran over me and then put it in backwards in reverse and ran over me again every single wow day. yeah every single now did you get the the new one or the one that you need the two shots the two shots i got the moderna okay i yeah. can't can you i did julie it's in the facebook um ah, the one that you said great and i just did it again like a few minutes ago hello jrkr hello denise I, I can, can do it again. Hi, Jen. Here, I'll put it right here. Back it's right there. Hello, Silver. How are you? Hello, Silver. Hello. So how was your weekend? It was good. It was busy. It was good. I just try to keep busy doing listings, 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 selling, that type of stuff. I heard some cha-chings over the weekend. Excellent. Excellent. Yep. So how many listings are you on now? Oh, my God. I think 30. I had 36. I sold three. So I think I have 33. Nice. Nice. The first one was on. Hello, Thursday. Stephen. Sorry. No, the first one was on Thursday that I sold, which was, <laughs> I didn't even know what was going on when I heard my phone go off. Ah. <laughs> and then yesterday during the afternoon and then late last night, I was just like, whoa. Nice. Yeah. Okay, JRKR. Thank you for coming in, though. Um, so you sold two already. Three. Three. Nice. Right. So those are packed and shipped already. Uh, the one from, yep, Tina's on her way back from work. So she's got it in her car. She's going to the post office to drop it off to be shipped. Excellent. Now, let me just give you a little pointer that I do. You say drop it off. She's not going to just drop it into that pull down thing and walk away, right? No. She's going to stand in line and have it scanned. Yes. Well, wait a minute. You bought, it's already postage paid. You paid for the postage and put the label on it. No. Ah. I know. I got to get there. I got to get to the park. Pirate ship. Pirate ship. Mm -hmm. The reason I say that is because, boy, it's been probably five Christmases ago now. Um, in the month of November, I shipped out a couple of statues at different times. One one week, one the next week can't get in there from there. I, I needed an email until I set up this new computer. Oh, I think she um, she has to copy and paste the link to her Safari in order to get in. Oh, yeah, Safari. I know I got to deal with that. Do you have her email? I do not. Okay. Julie, uh, can you put your email in that chat thingy that we have? Um here <laughs> i just said here in in the chat um unless i have it do i i, I should have it right julie oh here it is Duh. here you go okay now ladies and gentlemen let's just put the link right here and send it all okay it's it's sent it's emailed 
Um, Here is a map. Oh, so I sent out a statue. And these are like $200 statues, the, you know, comic ones. And um, never went anywhere. And this was by, because at, at the one time, it's like they see me in line with the labels already, you know, done. And they said, oh, just, you don't have to wait. Just drop them on the counter here. And I said, really? And they said, yeah, that, just look at all the other ones. Just drop it right with those. So stupid me said, okay, nothing. I put a, a tracer on it. They said, no, you never shipped it. I said, baloney, it was on your counter. And, oh, you got to talk to that office. So twice lost and could not file a claim because there was never a, a post office scan. Oh, wow. So ever since then... Um, I, I will stand in line and just when I go up to the counter, I says, I just want these scanned, please. And they say, do you want a receipt? And I, no, as long as I hear the beep, I'm okay. Hello, Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi. How are you? I'm so, sorry. No, no sweat. No sweat. I understand the, um, the um, safari issue. Um, so yeah, ever since then, I will always stand. And I mean, there is one guy now I haven't been to the main post office in a while. He would give me crap all the time because, <laughs> you know, we're not here for this. And I says, and I didn't use baloney. I used another word. I said, you are, if I stand in line, I don't, I don't ask to go ahead of anybody. I wait my turn. You are supposed to scan these. If I request it, I don't want to just drop it on the counter. Oh, that's no, I don't know where you heard that from. And I said, the postmaster general in Washington, when I asked, <laughs> oh, oh, well, that's not really the case. They don't know anything about the local offices. I says, oh, okay. I guess he doesn't sign your paycheck. I mean, he, and he would just give me crap every single time. So after a while, when I'm next and he says, come on. I said, no, no, I'll get the, I'll let the next person go ahead of me, and then I wait for somebody else. Um, so I just, you know. But then we have knew, a guy. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, then they opened up a, a satellite post office uh, closer to my house, which is just, uh, I asked the guy how he does it. Uh, it's just a small retail, very, very small, probably 400 square feet retail business space and he opened up a post office so no lines no waiting bang hey paul how you doing here you go nice hello hemlock That's nice yeah hi yeah. t hi t and if i need boxes or or you know envelopes he gets them and so that's nice we got a guy at our our mailbox every time we go it, it seems he's there he'll put all his packages on the Desk, they'll be scanned in, and then the guy takes a picture of the man behind the desk. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, the guy goes, "I hate that guy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, we try to, you know, we're doing postage online, so we're, we're, you know, we're taking some effort off their plates or whatever. We're doing a lot of the work. Just scan the friggin' thing, and mm -hmm. we just made your life a little easier. You could at least scan it mm -hmm. without giving us back talk or I don't know. Are you Italian? I'm, I'm a little bit of everything. Are you Italian, Susanna? No, I'm Portuguese. Portuguese. Ajuda means um, yeah. upset stomach, you know, but like grief. It's a slang, mm -hmm. basically. It's the same thing in Portuguese, Ajana. Ajana? Yeah. Oh, okay. They're very similar, aren't they? Portuguese and Italian, the language. I don't know. They're all How Latin. do you say close the, close the door in Portuguese? Fecha a porta. Yeah, accuse la porta. That's how we say it. Mm -hmm. Wow. How do you say give oh, me a kiss? Dame un beijo. beijo. Say it again. Dame un beijo. Beige, no, that's totally different. Mutsuga is a kiss for us. So that one's totally different. It's 
It's Pretty Yama, yeah, romantic. Remember. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, <laughs> when I went to junior high, I took Italian. And at that time, my grandfather was still alive, and he's from Sicily. And I would, I was getting A's and everything, and I was like, all right, now I can talk to my grandfather. I mean, he did speak English, but him and my mother always used to talk Italian. It's like, what are you saying? What's, what are you saying? So well, I used to go over his house all the time, and uh, I would say, he says, no, you're saying it wrong. I says, no, I'm, I'm getting A's. I'm doing very well. I'm, you know, I, no, that's not how you say it. This is how you say it. So I went back and talked to my teacher, and he says, uh, where's your grandfather from? Mm -hmm. And I said, Sicily. He says, that's the problem. He's talking a Sicilian dialect. He I said, it's totally different. That and was I said, in high school, I took Portuguese because I wanted to learn how to write it and read it. Oh, wow, yeah. And because I could speak it, understand it fluently, whatever. I actually failed the class. Wow. Because the teacher itself was from the mainland, Portugal. Yeah. From the islands, which is St. Michael. Yeah. So our way of pronouncing things and the dialect, like Paul said, totally off from one another. So what he was saying to me in class, I already had in my head because of the way my parents and everyone around me talked and yeah. that's how I could write it and it was so hard i mean I, literally i failed wow yep yeah he would tell me he says no we're teaching you northern italian which is what <laughs> just about what everybody speaks and i said well not my family so uh i think i ended up leaving the class halfway through and did something else <laughs> but yeah it was I mean, I can't speak it. You know, I can say things. I know all the bad words, of course. You can't speak Italian? No, no. I can get by, probably. I um, took four years of Spanish, and I couldn't tell you crap. Well, they say if you could speak Latin, you could speak any language. Exactly. Oh, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that hard? They are yeah, very hard, they say, yeah. Like French. French is... <clears throat> there's some words that I can understand, um, Italian, some words, Spanish, because they're all Latin derived. So yep. a lot of those you can pick up and if you, you really have to listen, but mm -hmm. Spanish, if people talk really, really fast, forget it. I'm like, what? <laughs> but they, if they yeah. talk low, I could probably understand what they're saying. I can't even roll my tongue, so I don't know why I took Spanish. I could never do my R's, so yeah, yeah I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazed. I'm amazed that when when I was working in Walmart, they would you know, there's a lot of the employees would be speaking Spanish, and I said, "Oh my gosh!" I said, "You guys talk so fast. Mm -hmm. How do you understand what each one is?" Oh, says that's just normal. Mm -hmm. So, but wow, you like rattle off the alphabet in like two seconds. It's ridiculous. Uh, Hemlock, parlez-vous français? I would imagine. I T, what, I what, are, what nationality is T? Tiana. I always I call know. her T. I don't, I don't know. know. Don't know. English is hard. English. You mean the King's English, J R K R? So Hi, I don't Jen. know. Julie, I don't know if you... Oh, I like the teacher. Oh, he's Spanish. Ah. Yo. Cool. Yo, I don't know if you heard, but um, Susanna has up to three now. Three sales. Three sales. Nice. Uh, oh, I know. Yes. I love her stuff. I haven't bought one yet. I yes. bought one for somebody else. I got to buy one for me. <laughs> Yesterday, while I was um, I was in bed, like I said, all day, and I literally, when I first heard the cha-ching yesterday, I'm in bed, and I'm like, oh, yee, oh, I can't, but I wanted to, oh, and then I texted Paul. I was like, Paul, I sold another one. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So are you trying to, you know, they say English is hard to learn, I guess, I don't know. Um, I was amazed when we went to Italy that almost everybody spoke English. 
Um, I think that amazed me first time I was there. But um, mm -hmm. are you trying to work on a schedule like, okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to try, I'm going to schedule, I'm going to attempt three listings a day? Yes. Like right now. Uh, cause it's 11 o'clock. I usually have my blackout time from 11 to three. That's my blackout time. But since I'm on now, so when I get off, I am going to do the, whatever time I get until, you know, I'm done. Right. But Excellent. Excellent. I have my door shut in my studio. So that way, and I put a sock on the door, meaning I'm working. Don't come in. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, because I remember, uh, Mr. Skits, I am from Liverpool. We talk fast with the slur. Um, I know with the first day, I got another one. I did another one. I did another one. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, the weekend, is I'm up to 23. So I don't want you to get burnt out no. or, you know, or, you know, I want you to spread it out. It's yeah. better to spread it out. Instead of doing 10 hours in one day, it's better to do an hour in 10 days. Uh, hello, Tom. How are you? Um, it's but better I don't to do cruise, it that way. But I do have, um, like, on the weekends, yeah. I, I, Saturday and Sunday, those are my days off. That is yeah. my weekend. So I will not do anything. I will not add anything because that's the time that I spend – you know, if my kids come over, we're having dinner or whatever. So I've already put that down that during the week, I work Monday to Friday. Right. But on Saturdays and Sunday, if something comes in or whatever, that's different. But I'm not going to personally come in my room, shut the door and say, this is work time. It, right. My weekends are my weekends off. Family's that's always first. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Always. That's like me, I take Thursdays off because that's Sandy's day off. Mm-hmm. And, you know, hopefully we're doing so or I'm doing something with her or whatever. Mm -hmm. Unless she tells me to buzz off and wants to be alone. <laughs> oh, bang your ankles. All right. All right. <laughs> um, so that's great. The other thing is just remember to ship the stuff. If you have, if you scheduled one day handling time, mm -mm. you did two day handling time? Good day. So just make sure, though, you don't go past that. Right. Uh, make sure you get it out because you don't want any dings on your account so early in the account. Mm -hmm. Now, if I have a two-day handling time, say if somebody purchased something on Friday. Yeah, it's still uh, Tuesday. It's still Tuesday? Yeah. Business days. Yeah. So business days, okay. And I it'll think. tell you. It'll say ship by mm -hmm. this day or ship by this day. Okay. Now I've run into problems where, you know, if I call for a pickup and it's Monday and sometimes like she tells me all the time, cause sometimes I will call for a pickup like I did today. Mondays are terrible for them. So there was a couple of times they didn't come until like six, six thirty at night. And I said, I, I can't do that. If it's not, Scanned in by five, mm -hmm. eBay's going to ding me for that. Mm -hmm. So now when I schedule a pickup on the bottom where it says notes, I'll put please by 4 p.m. Or if I need more bins, can I please get three or four bins? And they'll do it. And she tells me after I've done that for a few times, she says, I know you need it by four, by three. So I come here before I go to the mailboxes. Because if they're not here by four, I'm just going to take the stuff, put it in the truck, and go to the post office. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I don't want to get dinged, or I don't want the account to get dinged. Now, Paul, let me ask you if this is not a personal question, but how much do you actually sell? How many, not in uh, money, monetary, but how many items do you actually sell during the course of a day for you? A day, it could be none or it could be five. Um, like I just had five to ship from yesterday because mm -hmm. the other days, Saturdays, I got out already. Um, but that doesn't, you know, now I have, I think, 
Well, I have all these from the auction I have to do because mm -hmm. they all paid. Do you just do your paintings, Susanna, or do you do all kinds of stuff? I do all kinds of stuff in my eBay. I don't even have any of my paintings on eBay. Oh, you don't? No. Why not? I don't know. I, 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 from what I understand, like eBay is more about stuff that you know to re to, not for paintings that's like and made stuff not um, really not really you should do what would you call a painting hand painted yeah artist painted yeah self painted something like that just go on ebay and do a search for that yeah and see if anybody else is selling their paintings yeah list one of yours and see what happens it ain't gonna hurt but I know then, if I, I mean, saw your paintings, I'm not just blowing smoke up your ass. If I saw your paintings on eBay, I would probably buy one. Okay. So, if, and, and if you're not seeing any, go to Etsy. Like uh, mm. blah, 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 T said, mm -hmm. go to Etsy. Etsy is, although I am so amazed, there is so much bootleg stuff on Etsy. Um, like I was, I only sold, my son gave me a, a couple of these mm -hmm. to, well, he actually gave me a few of these to sell. And I said, well, I, I really can't do eBay. He said, well, sell them on your auction. So I sold a couple, but, um, I looked on eBay. There is, I don't think there's not any listed, but then I did a search for three, three D printed items and they just call it something else. And there yeah, somebody uh, said custom painting. Stephen said. Painting, yeah, Stephen. Hey, Stephen. I'm writing that down. What do you sell on eBay, uh, Julie? Um, nothing anymore. I can't stand eBay. It's a buyer's market, which is great. But anymore, if you make the slightest little mistake, it's in favor of the buyer. I don't want to deal with them anymore. So I'm just doing my auctions on here and I'm done. I've been selling on eBay for 22 years and I have a, a five star 10, a hundred percent rating. Yeah. Wow. And I'm very proud of it. And I'm just going to go out like that. Oh, you, you can... never want to give it another shot. I've thought about it. It's just that, like, I tried to do some of my vintage T-shirts, and I would fill in every single stupid Statistic. description line, and yep. they would still bug me about, well, we need more details. There is no more details. So right. I just got tired of it and said, you know what, I'm done. I'll sell to resellers, and they I'm do. Cool. They do the same thing on that for action figures. Mm -hmm. And because it's it's a matter, you got to get that blue circle, completely blue. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of things that you just there's nothing to put in there, but they mm -hmm. want. Them. So I just tell everybody, just put when it says body part, just write complete. When it says accessories, just write complete. And then that's a good get, idea. And then you get the blue circle. Um, and then you can, you know, you could always just hit the little box halfway down on the left says, don't remind me about these anymore. And it goes away. Oh, okay. Um, that's cool. I never got that, but that's cool. Yeah. Like I've been doing a ton. I've been putting up a ton of Harley shirts, uh, like this past few days. And yeah, they ask for character. There is no character. It asked me for title, movie title. It's not a movie. And I I do have it in the right category. Why are you asking me for all this stupid nonsense stuff? So That's why I quit. I Done. wouldn't quit though. I mean, it's it's like a an extra source of income. I don't know. I kind of like my auctions. And it's easier for me. So what happened? And I don't what have to have uh, what? No, go ahead. Go ahead. And I don't have to have as much um, 
fee? stuff on yeah stuff to sell right what happens if the auctions go away tomorrow then i'll stop buying <laughs> <laughs> but the sourcing is fun for me i love the sourcing for everybody <laughs> yeah but the hustle the, I like, the grind I can't stand. <laughs> the it's the treasure hunt. It's the same. yes. Hey, this is only five bucks, and I can sell it for twenty. Yes. When I get it listed, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I've been getting on with Jill. In fact, I'm get, I'll get on with anybody who asks. So. Well, like I said, Wednesday, if you want, come on Wednesday, swap me. Sweet. Um, I don't know. I don't know if eBay sent out a notice yet, but Amazon did. The day, what was it, Thursday, they said that the new um, relief bill was sent to the president to sign. He's probably going to sign it tomorrow. So everybody's real happy about getting the new uh, stimulus check, but resellers are going to be shocked and surprised because it used to be resellers would get a 1099 for anything over 20 grand in sales. In the relief plan, um, Amazon put it in there that now it's 600 bucks if he signs it. Yeah. So I looked at it as like, this is just something else Amazon's doing to do away with small sellers because they've been going crazy lately. Mm. Product compliance issues. Like we can't sell Legos anymore. Why? I didn't hear that. Because it's a choking hazard. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, don't you have a parent? The, well, they, they're trying, what they say is they're trying to protect the site and protect the buyers. And it, it's like, Okay, but trying to get these product compliance documents from Hasbro and Mattel, like they finally respond, Hasbro finally responded to me three weeks later. And I said, listen, I have listings that are due to be removed this Friday if I don't get these. And their response was, well, we don't handle that. Um, you have to talk to this office. And it's like, what are they, the next floor down or something? You can't help me? <laughs> so the week later, it came in, well, this is all we can give you right now. And I said, please tell me that I'm buying from one of your uh, distributors. Please tell me if that's true, because they don't have them either. And shouldn't they? And they said, yes, they are one of our distributors. Um, so it's like, why don't why don't you give it to them? I'm sure me dealing with them is a lot easier. And I says, these are brand new items. And it has a choking hazard. It says it right on the box. Why don't you stick with that? Uh, if you can't supply the product, whatever, whatever, doc, compliance documents, it's going to be... Re so they removed them. They removed oh now my 10 of my listings. Uh, because I, of different things. Do you ever notice the American people will destroy themselves? Oh. Whenever we got something good, I mean, let me blinker on you a little bit. Blinker means I'm changing the subject. But let me blinker a little bit. Like NASCAR. We used to be big NASCAR fans. They have so many rules and so many no-nos that it's not fun to watch racing anymore. Who gives a crap? They do the same thing with eBay. We will destroy ourselves with yeah. all of our rules and regulations. I mean, you have a mother who can tell you not to joke on Legos. But we're going to we're going to take care of that for you. Right. Uh, they were, so. Stephen. They were. Everything is. I don't sell anything used on Amazon. People tell me I should be putting up DVD, uh, VCR combos. But I, I still have not taken the plunge to put used on Amazon. And I, you know, I don't know. I'm just amazed. I mean, they took that. The latest thing they took down was a digital TV converter. And it's like, what is this? Why is this against your policy? 
I says all the TV local TV channels now broadcast digitally, so mm -hmm. you need to convert it to get it into your TV. No, no, we, if you can't send the product compliance things, we're going to remove it. So they removed them. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. I just watched, uh, I want to say his name's Nate. He lost $187 on eBay. He's totally in the right. He explained the whole thing, and eBay still taking all his money. Wow. It's it's not right. Right. I mean, people that's what people say. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm gonna do eBay, but I'm not gonna do returns. Doesn't make you a can't. difference. eBay's gonna yeah. do returns anyway. Exactly. You so, yeah. you might as well. Because yeah. you lose if somebody writes in. Yep. But if you're saying that you don't accept returns, how is that even possible? They'll what take I, it out of your account. They will. But what I tell people to do, hello, Jill. What I tell people Beautiful. to do is, what? Beautiful Jill. Yes. Okay. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't say that. <laughs> it I says that to us. <laughs> okay. Um, what I tell, what I suggest people do is, oh, hold on. I don't think I have one, but do, 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 do. like somebody just bought a video game from me and I I have to laugh sometimes when they say, when they give me this dissertation before I ship it, please ship it in the middle of the box so it doesn't touch the edges, so it doesn't get damaged. And I says, okay, you're making me a little concerned. Did you read the description that says the case is cracked already. It's still sealed. And I says, I've been doing this for 25 years now. I, and I'm a collector. So I do understand what you mean. And he says, oh, my bad. No, I didn't see that. I said, well, if you want to cancel it. Um, I says, I'll cancel it. No problem. And he says, no, no, I still want it for my collection. I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it in a padded envelope. I said, however, hello, Pixie. You're supposed to be in here, Pixie. I don't know what's going on. Everybody's getting mixed messages. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm going to be right back. Okay. I There's the link, Pix. I said, um, I'm going to wrap it in cardboard first, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to put it in the pad of them. I says, don't worry. I know. I'm a collector, too. I know that you want the thing for your collection. So then he understood, or you know, I hope. Mm -hmm. um, so where's one that I had to add a description to? Let's edit this one. Hi, Perlini. Hey, Perlini, how are you? And Jill and the Shamrock mm. Pixie. Oh, no, I don't want to share a video file. I didn't know you could share a video file. Wow. Did I miss anyone? It wasn't on purpose. Hi, Perlini. Tom Cruise. Okay. So I don't want to pre-fill anything. Well, yeah, maybe I do on this. I'm sorry. Okay. So if you go down... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I wonder if they're doing that so that people like Spectrum and all these Time Warner stuff, I wonder if they're doing that so that cable companies... Can keep making money. Doing what? Um, taking off your connector for the TV. No, stupid no. stuff like that. Something it goes against our terms of service or whatever. Because on this box you can record. Oh. So they didn't like that, and I said, "Well, you know, what do you want?" All right. So <laughs> in this con condition description. Mm -hmm. On this, there's really no issues. So I just put here an excellent condition. But in this space, I suggest to everybody, put everything right here. Uh, that you know, it, I get directions on how to ship comic books. I say in the listing that it will be sent between. Right. And if you're selling comic books, we need to talk. 
because I collect comic books. Uh, eh, Pixie still doesn't have the link, I guess. She's still in here chatting when she's supposed to be in here on the panel. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I would put in here, yeah, it has a little rip on the bottom right corner. Uh, it's a little discolored on the in the middle. It has a fold in the wherever, wherever, wherever. It's got a tear. It's got a rip. This here, and then what I'll do is I'll copy and just put it down below and put it into the description. Like all this says for condition pre owned, it was purchased from a theme park collector. It was used in, you know, I didn't say it was used in Universal Studios, but I think they get the, uh, the gist. Uh, and I put it right here. Both sides are shown. There may be one or two little spots that come off when cleaned. I didn't clean it. You need to put as much as possible in there. So when the person says, oh, it has a huge rip, and it was didn't say that. Oh, no, it says it right here. It's got a huge rip. Mm -hmm. Not that it's going to do anything, but if they fight eBay over it, it'll help. It'll help your case mm -hmm. for to fight a return or whatever. As much information as possible in that, mm -hmm. and it'll help fight the return. That's a good idea to put it up on top, too, because a lot of people don't even read the description. Exactly. And when they get their stuff, they go, oh, I didn't read that. Well, yep. that's my fault. So it's a good idea to put it up on top. Uh, uh, invite, copy, all right. This pixie dust is right there. All right, Des, that link is for you, Des, or anybody wants to come in and take Des's place. I mean, if you want to come in. Hello, Stash, how are you? Hi, Stash. Um, Random Girl Jill, what kind of comics do you sell? Hi, yeah, to anyone I missed. So, um, yeah, I mean, so Susanna, like, you know, I think I told you that when we were, I'm glad PayPal is out of the picture on making decisions on returns. Um, I don't know. I think we went over it, right? About putting description notes in there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Even um, if it's new, this, you know, no, you can't do it if it's new. But in the description, you can do it if it's new. Just say, new with tags, really no issues, never been used, never been worn, you know, never been unwrapped, blah, 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 blah. Anything you need to do to protect yourself. So what items did you sell, Susanna? I sold, oh. Did you sell the very first item? No. Wow, and now you're the lowest price with that item. Yeah, no. My pocketbook, nope, it's still up there. Okay. Um, I sold This is very good. Run nice and fresh in your mind. I like that. <laughs> hit him, Suzanne. Just hit I him. Have, <laughs> and I don't even know what's what happened. <laughs> what did he say? What did you sell? And then you couldn't remember. And he said, that's good. Right at the top of your head. <laughs> You'd figure your first three sales, you know everything and where we're going to. A guy from New York bought this bag. And then a woman in Chicago bought this. I mean, you'd think you'd know that. Oh, my God. Oh, you were so oh. a lady. <laughs> The many comics of the same comic book. Which one? Name one or two, Jill. I'm into comics. I sold an AM FM satellite radio that goes in your car. It was from 19, I guess, 98. But it was cool. Box. Um, the box had some wear and it had some pieces that were cut out. That was all in the picture. So that sold $58. And then yesterday I sold the um, Pokemon headphones, sold those. And there was another thing I sold. <laughs> cool. Do you know I made a mistake when I first oh. started? Go ahead. Julia Childs, the DVD Julia Childs. That was never. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. 
Okay. When right. I first started selling on eBay, I made everything real cheap, thinking that if I was cheaper than the rest, they'd buy it. When I made a mistake, though, because when I went too cheap, people thought I was selling junk. And I wasn't. So I raised my prices and I sold more. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I we go uh, a little bit over current sales market value. And then I offer the free shipping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I try to make up for it that way. Yep, me too. So well, I know I, I have to. I know I have that buffer in there. But that's funny you say about the FM radio. I just listed a um, Sirius XM with for the car, but it also comes with the desk one also. Hmm. How much? Uh, I'm looking for it now. Can you see mine? Ton of Harley shirts. Uh, Sirius XM Stratus 7 satellite radio model, complete audio system with Express. Express is the desktop one. Mm -hmm. $39.99. How much? $39? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Uh, vintage Spalding. Um, Flippin' Flamingos, how are you? Heroes Inc. <laughs> oh, Jill. Um, hold on, Jill. Oh. Hi, Joe from Flippin' Flamingos. Jill, wouldn't be this one, would it? I can't wait to see. Fifteen cents. Paul, I didn't know I was supposed to join you. I have twenty-seven decals done, and I have a fifteen to do. It's okay. We accept excuses here, at Shamrock. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Jill said that is the same comic book. Of course it is. And I know exactly where she got it and says if you buy these one for sale, but yeah, if you buy these, then you'll be the only one that has them. <laughs> Did someone lie? Did someone uh, lie? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, it was an my F Delphi XM satellite radio, XM radio. That's what I sold. Oh, ah, okay. Cool. There's one that I keep looking for. Hello, fishing and picking. There's an XM that came out a long time ago that once it's activated, there's never a fee again, but it's so hard to get them. I've, I've had one once. And I sold it really fast, re a long time ago. Um, nowadays, though, they go for like a hundred bucks or something. And I found it, I think, at Goodwill for five bucks. Um, yeah. Uh, I have tons of comics too, but could not tell you what they are. If they sold faster, that would be correct, right, Paul? Um, I don't know, Jill. I have... Hello. This is my husband, Jim. This is Paul. Hi, Jill. This is Jim. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. And Paul and Suzanne are on with me there. And buy everything she's got because I need a new motorcycle. <laughs> uh, what kind? <laughs> he wants a Harley, and he never wanted a Harley before. Oh, if you settle for a Harley T-shirt, I think I have some that'll fit <laughs> in my eBay store. <laughs> no, <laughs> you can't wear a Harley shirt unless you drive a Harley. That's true. Sandy's cousin was into Harley's big. Um, he used to, you know, put all the chrome and stuff on them. Mm -hmm. Well, her father used to drive a, a Honda Goldwing One Thousand. Mm. That's what he'd like too. 
Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know. These days, I think I'd be happy with the three-wheeler. So yeah, the trikes are nice. Yeah. My ex-brother-in-law used to work in York, Pennsylvania for Holly, mm -hmm. and he was the head engineer of the paint department. So he actually did all the paint colors. Oh, oh wow. sweet. Yeah. Some had, of the paint colors they have now are really cool. Yeah. yeah. I had back, a motorcycle once. It was back in the 80s, I think, or early 90s. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Mine, I bought... I had a, a video store at the time and Purple Rain was coming out and Warner Brothers put on this nationwide contest for the, the store that had the best display for the release of the movie would win a trip anywhere in the world to see Prince perform, backstage passes, all this stuff. So I bought a motorcycle, I bought a Kawasaki 850 and redid the whole thing like the one in Purple Rain. Purple backdrop, movies, the empty movie boxes everywhere, doves. Uh, my buddy's girlfriend was a florist, so we had florists, flowers all around, and we won. Cool. Um, so they said, where do you want to see Prince? And I said, well, Japan, of course. <laughs> the next friggin' month, he canceled the whole tour. So we had to go to Worcester, Mass. to see him. And I still oh. have the backstage passes. We didn't go backstage, but I still have the passes. You didn't go backstage? Why? No, I, I don't know. I don't know. We have them, but I, we didn't do it. Uh, Sheila E. was fantastic. Oh, oh, I bet. Yeah, we had a great time. It was That'd a great cool. time. Cool. But I, I used to drive the motorcycle around, and boy, and you get some looks, like, <laughs> because it had the, you know, the symbols, like, you know, what is this guy driving that for? So, <laughs> but it was cool. It was a good time. Um, Paul on a scooter here. Yeah. We want a gull wing trike. Yeah, trike would be nice. Yeah. Thanks, Perlini. Jill's comment. Oh, so Jill, I have. Hold on. Jill, I have mine. I don't know how much you have yours listed for. Um, account, hold on, your seller account, come on, I hate this, you got to go through 9 million things to find one thing, uh, sold by merchant, uh, Hero Zinc, I got it listed for three bucks, but I only have, I think, five up there. And then I think I have like 25 on eBay. How many did you end up getting? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, Sorry, I, I ruined I forget. the whole I forget. How's my girlfriend, Tina? She's awesome. Today's her birthday. <sighs> Oh, wow. Tell her I said happy birthday. Well, yeah, happy birthday. She, Are you doing something special? Well, the thing is, is that today's her birthday, but she only recognizes a birthday on the 17th, which is St. Patty's Day. Oh, boy. So St. Patty's Day, which is Wednesday, we will definitely celebrate. Yeah, Green beer for everybody. <laughs> we usually, um, not last year, but the year before, we've always had a huge, huge... St. Patty's Day dinner here. I mean, it was, we had like 20 people, family come over and corned beef and cabbage and beer. and. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but not not last year and, and certainly not this year either. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll definitely do something Wednesday. They canceled the, um, the St. Patrick's Ooh. Day festivities in South Boston again too, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did. They did. Got to go pub crawling. Not this year. <laughs> wow, I haven't heard that phrase in a long time. <laughs> yeah. I've done my share of that. Uh, Julie, have you done pub crawling too? Here's my my um, post on my Facebook page getting ready for Wednesday. Kiss me, I'm so 
<laughs> Sicilian. I like that. You know what what's that, that called? What's that called? A cannoli. Cannoli, yeah. Leave the gun. Take the cannolis. <laughs> I'm only Irish by injection. That's <laughs> not me. They won't let me in that country. <laughs> I have 10 left, sold 10 of 50. Yeah, I've sold a few. Of course, it would be Shamrock Pixie. Pixie, absolutely. Hello, two hip chicks. I want to complain. I want to bitch about something. Go ahead. Okay. I don't know if I'm right. That's why I'm bringing it to the table. But I kind of get it a little bit of an attitude when... And I, I don't even know if I have a right to feel this way, but when you know you're having an auction and your friends are there to support you and then out of nowhere, someone decides they're going to have an auction at the same time. But do they know? Does one know about the other? Uh, me too, Perlini. Um, they do. Is it that there's just too many auctions and you can't? schedule it when someone else is doing it or do you do your own thing and hope for the best or do you even say anything to the person who did it i think well, some it, be, um consider it it i don't you know this came up with a couple of weeks ago when i did something during someone else's show and and you know and i heard about it for days it's Ever since the pandemic, it's like this is people's relief. They've so many people now have gone live. They're doing whatever. Some people can't pay their bills, so they're doing the auctions. Um, you know, eventually Google's going to crack down and something's going to give with the auctions. I can see that coming, but it's like, you know. And now, especially with, since the president did sign in this new bill, and now people, if you do more than 600 bucks, you're going to get a 1099 um, from Amazon, eBay, PayPal, all these other sites, the Zenmo or whatever, whoever the name is that takes your money. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to get rid of a lot of small sellers. But... I don't know, what are they talking now, May, that they said by May, everybody's going to be allowed, everybody should be allowed to get the um, injection, what are they called, inoculation. So maybe by the end of the year, things will start getting back to somewhat normalcy and people can go back to work. But then on the other hand, people are going to be like, well, I'm making money at home. Why should I go back to work? Um, but that really know. doesn't touch the subject. Right. I'm kind of pissy about there's, it. There's yeah. just a I lot of people that are now going online. I mean, I've done my thing. And, yeah, people still come on. Um, you know... I, there's some people that don't care. There's some people that do care. I think that's one way. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I'd like to do something. Maybe this kind of out there. But everyone that's doing auctions or everybody that's putting out some, they know what their schedule is for that week. Maybe they could email me that schedule. And then on Monday, I can make that email and send it out to everybody saying these are the times that people are going on. Um, if they want to move it, move it. They don't, they don't. And also uh, say it on here. Like now, like, okay, Julia's on Sunday from two with uh, uh, Jill, you know, that's mm -hmm. their auction. Paul is on swap me on Wednesday at six. Paul's channel. Mm -hmm. Paul is on Friday night, Dolly and Paul show. Johnny is at... Um, Hello, girls. Hold on one second, Suzanne. I'm sorry. I just put the link in. If Fliffing... Ugh, fliffing. And I've had two coffees already. If Flippin' Florida Mingos wants to come in, come on in. If 
Jr. Kr. If Jill, anybody, don't let anybody, Jill and Jill yell at me. <laughs> okay. Anybody wants? No. To, <laughs> is that the Jill that you do your thing with? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, know. that's my my partner. Okay. All right. Well, she so thinks ahead. I should let it go. No, I'm, I, I don't think it's it's not very nice. It's not because Johnny and I were were on Wednesday at three o'clock. Okay. So then all of a sudden that takes away from our business. Somebody else comes on and then they get upset because we're upset or somebody else is upset. I mean, really? Well, the, this is a good, that's a good example. That's a good example. The first auction Jill and I did, we had over a hundred in the chat was nice. wonderful. We were very excited this time because of the other auction that started we had 50 something 60 65 in the chat and this person knew that we were having the auction started at the same time i just who was it no 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 i would normally tell you paul but i don't want this person to be no. on my ass. You want to put it in the private chat? No. Okay. <laughs> no, because I know too. I mean, when I scheduled the swap meet for Wednesdays, mm -hmm. the way I did it is I went to all the places that we all advertised our shows, and I went back a week to see, to get an idea if anybody else was on that time. And then I said, okay, I'm going to do Wednesday, and we're going to do it. I mean, typically, when I moved my show from 9 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock at night, I was still having a problem getting guests or whatever because the pandemic was around. So I don't even do it Monday through Friday anymore. But I said, all right, we're going to do swap meet on Wednesday and then Dolly and Polly on Friday. But I did look. So if the mm -hmm. other, I don't know if you're advertising it the same way, but people should be able to see, well, hey, there's another auction at the exact same time. Well, Don and Mary made a good point. People do have open oh, no, several wait windows. Wait Julie, wait a minute. Don yeah. made a good point. I don't think Mary ever makes a good point. <laughs> I'm not getting in that. <laughs> but I'm just kidding, people Mary. have multiple windows open. Now, I will say when Jill and I did our scheduling, I made up one of those um, schedules on paper of who does what. You can't find an empty spot to do a regular auction. You you almost just have to do it. But with Jill and I, we did not want to step on toes. We're new as far as having a regular auction. So we didn't want to step on toes. But then when we're on, someone purposely does that. You think it was on purpose? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Really? I put it in the private chat. OK. I no, it was I, I I'm not going to look at the private chat yet, but let me say this. And um, I have people that go live the same time I do. 95% of them, I do not know. It doesn't bother me. This is YouTube. People will catch whoever they want. Sandy and I have Lenny Baker. Hey, Lenny. Are you the Lenny that I know? Because I never knew your last name if it is. Hello. Um Sandy and I, at one time, maybe a couple of times, we had four different things going. The phone, the iPad, the TV, my iPad. But I mean, yeah, enough is enough. But lately, oh, okay. Hi, Lenny. Nice to see you. Um, I do know that people are starting to niche. like, And it's growing now, too. There's, there's, and I don't know. I've only been in your auction once, um, Julie. We've only it's done a, it twice, but yeah. Okay. There's a growing thing lately for jewelry auctions. And that's all they're doing is jewelry. And I know that uh, Carol does her jewelry auction on uh, Sundays. But then uh, Miranda 
is typically just doing jewelry auctions and sometimes she'll throw in clothes. Mm -hmm. um, April is I think the same idea, clothes and jewelry. So there is that. So yeah, if I'm doing an auction, people know, hey, Paul doesn't sell jewelry. He doesn't sell clothes. Even That's though, true. Even though Sandy wants me to. Um, right. So, so you go where the auction is that you want to buy. Go, yeah, they'll go to them. Uh, per perfecting pros. I have live sale on Mondays at 2 Central. Okay. I didn't know that either. That's but, the thing I think where it used to be you just decided to have an auction and set up a date. Well, now people are starting to get in a niche. Like I'm going to do it every other Sunday at 6, whether who's whoever's on. Right. And the other thing is, man, you had a hundred people in. That's fantastic. I think the most we've had in ours was 70 something. So mm -hmm. that's been fantastic. And it, yeah. it, it's just like, where do you advertise it? You know, how much promotion do you put behind it? Like when I did the 70, of course it was for Jerry's sale, but I paid to do Google AdWords for it. You know, I, mm -hmm. I hyped it up and I did that for 10 days before. Am I going to do that for every Wednesday and Friday? No, because no. I'm not selling $1,000 per auction, you know? Mm -hmm. That's why I can't afford to have, what's her name, the two names there, the mods. Um, like Jeremy pays, or he paid at one auction, he paid her a hundred bucks to mod her auction, his auction. I'm, you know, I'm lucky to make two, 300 at an auction. I can't give, just pay somebody a hundred dollars just to mod it. I just send a, a goodwill package when we have mods. And as far as advertising, Jill and I are, if it's not one of us, it's both of us. We are in channels all the time telling yeah. people what we're doing. So, that that's good too. We're that's one thing. It. That's one thing that somebody tells me all the time. It's like, Paul, you got to get out more and mm -hmm. get into more of the chats and say hello to people because I don't. Mm -hmm. You know, I kind of stay away from the drama, stick to myself, stay busy, and when I have to go on, I go on. But you know, like yesterday, it was Jill and Julie, right? they were on it too. And then, you know, and this is my schedule. I'm not talking about everybody else's schedule, but my schedule, you know, you have, um, uh, Carol, Carol's creative corner. She comes on at four. So, but she is a regular on Sunday at four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He owns and then, YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then somebody else started to do a live at four on Sundays too. Right. And, and that, pretty much i'm gonna say it sucks uh -huh. yeah i don't watch his i don't, I don't know who that is anyway people can be very me i don't want to go there i'm gonna be nice but right. i'm right there with you susanna conscience no they don't care they really mm -mm. don't right i said that barbara and thanks for coming in barbara hello horizon pick and i won't buy from them people ever again either i used to be a regular buyer in that that and i won't if you're not going to have uh, a little bit more, what's the word I'm trying to think? I, I'm having a brain fart. If you don't give a shit, why should I? Right. That's basically what it comes down to. I mean, even starting it a little bit later, I'd have been fine with that. I don't no, like the that, drama either. That person you put in the private chat? I've only seen their auction once. I asked one question and I got crap. It's like, well, um, you know, I could be interested in buying this. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Never been back on again. I'm and done. I do also believe that these bigger channels that have more people, okay, be more considerate of the smaller channels that don't have enough people. Mm -hmm. You know, they're it's like you want it all for yourself. No, share. Why don't you just share? Mm -hmm. The ladies were very kind to Jill and I. Uh, 
Donna and T, because they're on a lot. And we went to them and said, we don't want to step on your toes, but we want a spot in here so that we can have an, an auction. They were very nice. They were accommodating. That was good. And I just assumed, which we know what happens, yep. that everybody would be like that. And that's not the case. And, yep. you know, Perfecting Pearls, you're absolutely right. It's hard. It really is hard not to overlap. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then I agree. Or if, but yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I granted, there's most of the people are on at night and weekends. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's like, I can't, you can always tell like when you're on too. Like there's been a couple of times I'm on and all of a sudden the lag will go from like five seconds to 25 seconds. And if it's not because the president's on or the governor's on, it's like, all right. There's like 52 auctions between Facebook and YouTube right now, mm -hmm. taking all the bandwidth. So we're going to have a long time here. And the thing is, I get what you said earlier. You both touched on something that like for me, I'm a reseller's seller. I'm going to pack your box full of crap for you to sell. Whereas you might have someone that's selling, you know, this and that's it. Right. Which there's room for both sets of auctions. If that's what you're into, then I get going to, but when you have the same reseller auction going on, I'm done. I'm done bitching. I wanted to bitch. I did it. No, it's fine. It's fine. And Get it My off boss your chest. told that's me what, I should quit. <laughs> that, that's what the sign says. Reseller rants, raves, and reviews. Get it off your chest. Yes, I did. Lunch we, will taste better now. <laughs> we, can, uh, <laughs> we can get things off our chest without naming names. <laughs> yes, or being nasty, you know? Yep. I don't want to be nasty. I just want to state it. Right. And I am not one to... Like, I'm not, this isn't over until I send this person an email because that's the way I am. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not afraid to tell you what I think. And I honestly, in all, not in all cases, sometimes don't care what your opinion is. But I'm going to let this sit and then I'm going to be done with it. Uh, what, what is it? How come you can't have a calendar and post your regular? Because, Lona, thank you for coming in. Wait a minute. Let me just one thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not trying to piss off any, not trying to piss anyone off. Bigger channels worked harder to get where they are. Smaller channels need to understand people do not control the viewers. Um, That's true. How come you can't have a calendar? Because... We don't, there's a lot of times like this person that um, Julie's talking about. I've only, I've never corresponded with them, not a friend on Facebook. Um, I've only been in their auction once. So there's going to be a lot of times that that's going to happen, that their people are not my people. You know, they don't freak his like he wouldn't frequent my his auction if he's my person because he doesn't know about him. You know what I mean? Right. Not everybody knows everybody. Right. Um, but I think an easy way to do it is to go on, because there's probably, what, 10 channels now that promote other, what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. Like even I have one, Reseller mm -hmm. You. Um if you post in there and if you're ready to post something and you see that someone else is doing the exact same thing, give it a second thought, maybe, mm -hmm. all right, well, I'm going to adjust my hour then or, or day that might be simple, but not everybody posts in the same place. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, some of these people that have three to 500,000 viewers, they don't need to post at all. They just go live. Half those people get a notice that, hey, so-and-so's live, and they get a crowd. 
I understand what Pixie's saying about the bigger channels, but how am I supposed to get bigger if I'm not allowed to? If you're not, I want to get bigger too. Right. And it's, it's they all, weren't always big. They weren't. And man, I mean, I've been on Facebook and I just celebrated 14 years on Facebook. I mean, on YouTube. You think if I had kept this thing going, as active as I am now, I should be at that 100, 200, mm -hmm. 500,000, but I didn't. The way to do it, it's just like competition. You have to outperform the competition. So you got to advertise. Maybe you, when you know you're having an auction in a week, maybe try to do a $5 you know, like $1 a day Google AdWord ad. See if that helps. You know, do different things that maybe the competition is not. Mm -hmm. um, look at Coke. I and like Susan's uh, comment too. She said that sometimes who's in the chat is just as important as what's for sale. Because yeah. there's times where I'll stay in the chat just because I like the people. Mm -hmm. And I have no interest in what's being sold. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I tell people all the time, come on, you know, because a lot of times I'll get just as many people in the Facebook channels as we do in the YouTube. And they'll ask questions, but I see, oh, we're the only ones that can see it on uh, StreamYard. So I tell them, come over, you know, mingle. Maybe you'll meet somebody. There are people mm -hmm. from all over the country. Um. But I, yeah, just got to try to outperform the competition. What were you saying, Sam? Oh, yeah. Sandy says, keep your integrity, too. Yeah. If smaller channels want the viewers, they need to bring what the viewers want. And yeah. Hey, Treasure Hustlers is here. Hello, Treasure Hustlers. It's a dog eat dog world, she said. I think this is Sarah. Regular times. Yeah, that's true, too. A lot of auctions don't have regular times. That's very true. That's why I try to keep regular times. The Wednesday and Friday, same time every Wednesday, every Friday. Because that's the other thing that people like is consistency. So if you're doing your thing with Jill. Yeah. If you do... One day a week, two days a week, three days a week. If you make sure that you never vary from those days a week, an hour, people like look at Carol. Mm -hmm. You know, I just got to ask her all the time. You still on Sunday, this Sunday at four? When she was feeling really ill, you know, Sunday at four? Yep, yep. If people get to know, well, Julie and Jill is going to be there uh, whenever, whenever at this hour, it'll it, they'll get to know it. Mm-hmm. Hi, PM. Tons of sports cards at my goodwill. And oh. my <laughs> Hi, Jackie. She said Sarah's in a pissy mood. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> People will ask each other. I mean, I don't interested in both sometimes in the chat determine. Yeah. And Jackie, you're right. This person only cares about themselves. That's why it happened. Doggy dog, you need to make money. That's right. Yep. That's and like Jill made a good point, too. We've built our auction off of the backs okay. of other bigger names having auctions. I don't okay. want to disrespect anybody. I just would like it if they didn't want to disrespect me back. <laughs> well, we can't change anyone. The only person that we can change are ourselves. Makes money with a lot of those right. options. Yeah, very true, uh, JR. I, I often wonder that, too, when they're selling things for a dollar, $2. Um, I mean, granted, I it's happened to me. Yep, that's me. What, I just what comment it. are you reading, Paul? Um, JRK, I don't know about any how anybody makes money with a lot of those auctions. Because there are some things that 
they'll sell 20 items and they all sell for like under five bucks. I've seen a couple of those way back when that happened. Yeah. I got a girlfriend I want to help like that. She sells a smaller dollar. And yeah. I want to go, hey, <laughs> let's make a big lot. <laughs> right, exactly. And there's a stash. And there is more than one clique of sellers that don't know each other. And I missed Anthony's auction because, yeah, I stopped in to see Anthony and Nate yesterday myself. Just I always go in at least to say hi. I, I like them see, guys. Yeah, I didn't see whoop. Uh, I didn't see the message because I used to get pop up on the side. Now I have to watch the bells for notification. I love watching channels that I can learn from. Like if they specialize in something and they're selling it, it's like I look at it as a learning tool as well. Yep. Whatever they're saying, I'm like a sponge. I'm trying to learn from it. So. Right. I hate the ones, and there is plenty out there that are selling something. Oh, I know nothing about it. This is what I got. This is it. This is what I'm selling. Come on. Give me a break. You know? <laughs> you think they're lying? <laughs> or maybe I don't know, but once in a while, I'll have something that I don't know, but not too often. It's very... I'm going to give some... Good free advice. Do not sell something that you know nothing about. If you know nothing about comic books, try not to sell them because what's going to inevitably happen is there's going to be a bunch of questions and you don't know the answer to. And when a seller does not know the answer to a buyer's question, they're not going to buy from you. Right. But and like I have bought stuff like that before where I had no business selling it because I didn't know nothing about it. Right. But like Jackie, I think, look it up because it goes for a lot. At least look it up. At least do some review on what you're selling if you don't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think people would like that because look at G.I. Joe's. Like I was talking to uh, somebody the other day because I bought a, a collection of G.I. Joe's. There are some that come out of the 60s and then there's almost the same exact one that came out in the seventies. So don't say it's the sixties, the original one. If you didn't look in the back and see the year and stuff like that, because then somebody's going to get mad. Oh, you sold me. This was an original and it's a, a repop. And well, you can buy a Barbie doll with a date on the butt and you'll think that that's an old Barbie. It's not an old Barbie. It's an old Barbie model for that body type. Yep. But it's not an old Barbie. Well, I it those were lessons I had to learn. I See, didn't, and I was advertising 1964 Barbie. I didn't have no 1964 Barbie. Right. But if that's but, what it, it's that's, like, why are you selling it so cheap if it goes for so much more? And even yeah, because then people what? think it's it's something's wrong with it, or you know, mm -hmm. and it sells for two dollars. That's on you. All right, Stash, take care. Yeah, it's true. I mean, we should all do the research a little. We should know what we're talking about, what we're selling. Um, look at Dolly. When she comes in and she does those scores of silver, she goes to somebody to have it appraised for us. She, I guess mm -hmm. she's got a really good um, connection there at a jewelry store or whatever. And he says, well, if I was to buy this from you, I'd do this and that. Uh, same thing. When I got that big expensive watch, I took it to our jeweler, had him go through it. And what do you think? And he said, oh, this is great. Great buy. Uh, changed the battery, cleaned it for me on the inside. And I listed it just, and I said, I even put his receipt to show mm -hmm. that, that a jeweler checked it out. Mm -hmm. yep. so, you know, presenters are selling based on these hot, hot. Yeah, I know. And, Sometimes, and I look it up for the comps, they are lower than the start. Big turn off, what makes me not trust. Yeah, I know. That's. Perfecting pearls. Julia, isn't, oh, you're trying something new? What is she trying? I don't know. Maybe she might not want to tell us yet, but what are you trying, girlfriend? 
trying something that I haven't seen in anyone else's sales. Now I'm intrigued. <laughs> Me too. Like you're, uh, yeah, tell her. Spill the beans. Spill it, girlfriend. I'll put the link in <laughs> 10 times. Come on. Everybody's checking this morning. She they must it. have Monday hair or something. They don't want to come in. Why isn't Joe or Jill coming in? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Let's Jackie. start to get a 25. Yeah. I've Jackie, done that. Get your butt in here. Yeah, I've done that a couple of times. I've started something mm -hmm. a little high, but then if it doesn't, I'll say, well, hey, I'll take an offer. Anybody want to offer 20, 18, mm -hmm. and I'll just go down until it's sold if I, you know, if I'm happy. She's shipping. Jill is shipping. Oh, okay. Come to my sale. When is your sale? She said, come to her sale. Drop your link for your sale. Yeah. You're painting the garbage. Oh, garage. Garage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the garage. <laughs> Got it. Honey, that was cute. <laughs> Oh, what did I just do? Oh, good. All right. There, she dropped it. Yep, I just went on and it took me out of, uh, whatchamacallit. Yep. All right, I'll see you then, because I'm going to be there. I just put the reminder on. Wow. Ah, trying to copy and paste, and it won't let me copy. So if I go here, what do you mean it's, there's nothing there? That's weird. I put the paste and go. Yeah, it's not. Le it, I can only do it right from um, YouTube. It won't let me copy and paste the link. Open in a new window. I could do that. Ooh. Critter live sale. You're not selling animals, are you? <laughs> Painting garbage, selling animals. <laughs> I'm looking for a puppy. <laughs> oh, Paul's first in the chat. Hi. Two o'clock today, Central. So to Central is one hour behind us or two hours? Two hours, I think. Two hours? Uh, well, now I'm not sure. No, I think it's an hour, no? An hour, yeah. No. I Pearls, think she's right. Is, Pearls, what time is it there now? It's noontime here. Oh, you Jewish all of a sudden? Nope. I'd beckon it up, sure. What's that mean? <laughs> 3 p.m. Eastern, so it's one hour, yeah. Because I can swear in Yiddish, too. Huh? I can swear in Yiddish. Yiddish? Can you? Jewish. I can say a couple Spanish words that are not nice. Oh, me too. Everybody can. Yep. My famous swear word in Portuguese is vatpapuja. <laughs> what did it teach wow. me? What is it? Never heard that one before. Vatpapuja. What does it mean? I can't say it. <laughs> Put it in the chat. Why do you, you, you have I'll to say inhale <laughs> when you were saying it? Va, va, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're having a Portuguese lesson here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Va is with uh -huh. a P. Pa. With a pa. Porja. Porja. Va po porja. So you're saying, oh, the first word va is go. Yeah. The <gasps> second part would be to do an action, typically, <laughs> typically to uh, the opposite sex. 
<laughs> right? It doesn't have to be to the opposite sex. Yes, well, it can be the same sex. That's right. This is 2021, Paul. <laughs> Get with it, Paul. Yeah. So, and then the last part is yourself. Go get blank. yourself. Okay. Yeah. All right. How's that? <laughs> that is very different than the Italian way. <laughs> Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't have to do this. It's just that. Right. <laughs> Wow. Sofa King, it, interesting. So, what is that? Mean? I appreciate you guys letting me vent about that little thing, that little issue. So, do you feel yeah, like definitely. Do you feel like I said, that's better. what the show thing said mm -hmm. rants, raves, and reviews. Plus, we wanted to get a follow up on um, Susanna's now 30 listings. So are you hooked? Three sales. So are you like, okay, what else? Did the first response come out of your mouth? Okay, now what else can I list? Yeah, I'm <laughs> thinking, oh my God, what else do I have? Like, yeah. <laughs> Let's put the whole damn house up. <laughs> Tina was like, I'm going to hide all my uncle's stuff because I'll find it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I ever right, sold bro. was a piece of Fenton. It was a sugar shaker. It was about this big and it sold for $350. Wow. And from wow. that moment on, I said, I, I'm a reseller. I'm going to sell all this stuff. <coughs> I did. I sold my whole collection of Fenton. Wow. wow. I he wish was... I had now, but I don't like to collect anything anymore. Mm. Nothing. Mm -mm. You sure? Money. I like to collect money. So there's nothing that you, nothing at all that you collect. Because I'm always, I always laugh. People tell me, I don't know how you can collect comics. I don't collect anything. Like my buddy said a long time ago to me. Then you go over his house and he's got this huge, <laughs> clear pickle jar full of um, matchbooks. And I said, what's this? <laughs> and try every time I go to a restaurant, I get a, I, collect a match. I said, oh, you collect. <laughs> He's all right. You got me there. Yeah. I don't collect anything. I really I do, don't. I do have another buddy back home who says the same thing. I collect money. That's all I collect is mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And that's just so that when I'm gone, the people that are left got a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. Yeah. Right. When you realize you have a collection of something, you should consider selling it at money. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're going to call it here. I'm going to make lunch myself. I'm hungry. Let me up. Uh, I'm, being, I'm being handed something. What's you this? You what? I just want to think what you think of it. All right, Sandy wants to get everybody's idea on what we think of this. Okay. It's sideways. Oh, that's so pretty. It mean, is I pretty. How much? The, the big balls in the middle. The big balls in the middle. <laughs> did, she you tell everybody? did she say that? Yeah. I did. I did. Uh, everybody? I did. It did you make normal. that? It could be normal, yeah, I just finished normal it. size balls. You've got to tell it's everybody they're pretty. Big. It's very pretty. How much? Um, Are those eight? like. Because they're agates. Oh. Eight dollars. Wow. Yeah, she definitely doesn't charge enough for her time. That's for sure. I know. She doesn't charge for her time at all. And I'm like, oh, you should bring it to auction too. You never bring it to auction. Why don't I, you do that? Because the last time she had last Wednesday off, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, we were on and I, she was sitting next to me. I says, come on, we'll sell some of your stuff. <laughs> Nobody was interested. So there was no, they have to know, I guess that, Hey, Paul's or Sandy's going to sell some jewelry or whatever. See, Perlini said that's too cheap, Sandy. I, I agree. I was going to ask you guys if that was a decent price for it. What do you mean it's too cheap? 
Come over here. It get is too cam- cheap. Get on camera, your no. chicken shit. Um, so, yeah, I mean, really? I tell yeah. us, man, if you had to get $15 an hour and that took you five hours, my God, you're losing a lot of money. This takes you five yeah. hours. You got an issue. <laughs> but when in the when the price goes up, I like to add to it. So I would, if it was me, I would put two nicely priced together. But that's me. I'm but yes, you deserve more money for it. Donate to my so reseller what would you, daughter. So what would you price it at? Are you including shipping or not? Uh, no, typically I do shipping later. Yeah. Okay. I would go at least like 10 bucks. In fact, I'd probably go 12 bucks plus shipping. Shipping on something like that, if that's all they get, it's going to be like, even to the other country, yeah, the other country, the other side of the country is 420. Yeah. 420. <laughs> 12, 12, what are you 12. laughing at? 420. <laughs> 420. Yeah. That's it's usually small amount. What do you, what do you, what do you laugh? I don't get it. What did I, did I, what? 420 is. Thank you, ladies. No. Yes, you do. No, I don't. 420. 420. It's time at 420. I have never heard that. Where did you f- get that? Julie, have She's- you heard of it? Yeah, it's 420. But I yeah. smoke pot. Paul, do you smoke pot? I have. Do it's you legal still get Mass- stoned? It's legal in Massachusetts. It's so legal I- in Ohio. April- Are you in Ohio? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, when I last time I went, well, I asked the surgeon. Hello, Mark. I wow, even Mark knows. Sam, did you know four twenty is weed? <laughs> Means weed. She's trying to teach you, Paul. <laughs> I don't think Sandy knows either. Sam. <laughs> Paul. Hello. Paul. Paul, she, listen to Susanna. No, no. I asked the. I asked my surgeon for my neck. I said. What else? I said, I'm taking like 12 to 20 ibuprofens a day. What is there anything else? I've taken everything. He says, have you tried marijuana? And I said, no. He says, that might help a little bit more. So I went when I went home, I went into the dispensary and I said, I'm surprised you didn't hear about this story. You go up and it's like a doctor's office. It's like, I all right. I want something that'll take the pain edge off so I can operate. I don't want to be Bluto, but, you know, I just want to be able to function. Oh, try this. It just helps me go to bed, you know, to help me sleep. Because there's really nothing that only things just take the edge off. Nothing actually gets rid of the pain. Mm. But, yeah, I, I, it's, it comes in a little thing, and it looks like a prescription you've got. But I have never heard of 420. So on April the 20th at 4, but he stopped. You're you're breaking up. I couldn't hear what you were saying. Usually they say on April the 20th at 420, there are a lot of people sparking it up. Why? (laughs) Did they say why? April, the fourth month, the 20th day. At 420. <laughs> uh, but wh- I don't understand where it came from. Paul. I didn't even know that. See, Perlini didn't know that either. See, See what you learn on YouTube? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, it's not. It's it's, it's, a, reference. it's a reference. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I had no idea. See, you learned something today. Or Paul, we got to teach you everything, man. What's yeah. up? I'm too old. I'm too old to learn <laughs> new stuff. Not true. 420. What the, who would I mean, I don't get the reference myself, 420. Kind of like it's five o'clock somewhere. I yeah. guess. Maybe everybody got to work at four by the time they got in their car and whatnot, they spocked it up. I don't know. If that's well, the case. Suzanne has it kind of right. Two dudes came up with it, but April 20 came later as the day to celebrate. Cool. 
Hello, it must be the Italian in, in us, Paul. I guess so, Perlini. <laughs> you should go, what? You should go to one of the conventions. I have. I've gone to one of the conventions. It's cool. You'd be surprised how much pot is helping people health-wise. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, because people tell me all the time, you take how many aspirins? Don't you know what that's doing to your liver? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. What am I going to do? Stay in bed all day? It's funny, you know, when we went to Italy, we went to, we took a, we took the cruise, and the ship kept going, you know, like to this country and that country. Mm -hmm. And then back to Italy, Greece and stuff. We went into one place where they were having a, um, I don't know if it was a demonstration or whatever, but everybody was smoking pot right there. Mm -hmm. It was like a park. And they had companies there selling their stuff. And it was like, there was these ads for the pot, like this one and that one. It's like, oh, my God. Um couldn't buy anything, couldn't bring it back on the ship, that's for sure. No. Nope. Now, do you visit a dispensary there in uh, Massachusetts, woman? I only went once, once only. Oh, oh you see, you got enough to last you all this time. <laughs> no. I think I went with my son. That was so funny because I, I have a lot of bad migraines. I have what's called the Arnold, Arnold Curry malformation, and I get really bad migraines. Yep. So I went in with him and I talked to them and they gave me um, pot. So I came home and when I had a migraine, I, I smoked it. Well, Paul, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I was in bed, lying down in bed. And all I felt like was the room spinning. The room is spinning. It's closing down on me. I had no control of myself. I'm like, I'm going to die. I need control. What's going on? And how? And they're how watching did you, me. <laughs> they're watching. How much did? How much did you smoke? I don't know. Maybe four puffs, five. And okay. So you're like me, like two <laughs> puffs, three the most, and I'm ready for bed. And you know, it does and it. Everything that everyone said, I just laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I get out of bed and I walked into the living room and Tina's talking and I'm just freaking laughing my butt off because I'm like, what the hell? He's like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, even at that, I was like cracking up on the floor. I'm like, I can't. And you didn't want to do it no more? Um, did it take the headache away? That's the, I think the big thing. Yeah. Hopefully it did because I remember laughing. Wow. So I know I I didn't do it after that, but it's not to say that I would never do it again. No. I quit yeah. drinking. You could drink it? No, I quit drinking as of this last time that I got the buzz on. I quit drinking. Wow. It's just, it doesn't do anything for me. It my, makes my body hurt. I... It's there's no good part about it, so I'm done. Well, Lona says, uh, my friend stole a candy bar from her boyfriend, not knowing what it was. She was high and in <laughs> bed for two days. Wow, I remember when I was younger. I can't wait not <laughs> to not be a cop so I can smoke again. Oh, my, I, I know. Go, Joe. <laughs> I remember when I was younger, I was probably like, I don't know, 18, 19, and I remember smoking it. And I got in the car and I was and when they That was a long time ago. You remember way back then? I know. Imagine that. <laughs> Get and off my friend. <laughs> I was in the car and all of a sudden I saw the red lights to stop. And so I stopped. Well, I stopped two blocks away from the red oh light. my god objects in, the mirror are close. objects in the mirror are closer than they appear right I was, i'm coming i was like oh my god a red light so i and they're like what what are you doing and i'm like it's a red light and they're like two blocks away. wow <laughs> wow <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I get sometimes 
I get so bad. And Sandy says, just go take a couple of puffs. I have good days and bad days with it. You have to be careful with edibles. I tried the edibles when we were home because my son knew the girl that one of the girls that worked at the dispensary and she gave him one. It was nothing. They were gummies. They tasted okay, but they were nothing. What the well, honestly, the honestly, I think mm -mm. I'm a big one for edibles, and I think it's starting to screw up my stomach, but I'm not sure yet. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, and if that's the case, I'm done, but <laughs> I have a feeling that's what's bothering my stomach is edibles. Right. Wow. right. Yep. Pulled over going so slow. Stopped. <laughs> <laughs> was you speeding? <laughs> oh hey guys, I'm out of here. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. All right, everybody. So we're going to do you, everybody. This. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We're going to come on at 11, talk about whatever reselling, rants, raves, all that stuff. Uh, we'll see if Susanna sells anything else by Wednesday. And if anybody wants to come in, open invitation. If anybody has questions or wants to uh, ask how to do something, if one of us doesn't know, maybe somebody in the chat knows. Don't ask me because I know nothing. <laughs> no, not, not necessarily true. You'll know. Yeah. You'll know. I can tell you how to decorate your house and do painting, but... Maybe somebody wants you're to. You're smart, that. Susanna, and you're beautiful. So stop that. Yeah, maybe somebody wants to do that. So with that, everybody have a great day, and uh, I will see you Wednesday. Wednesday. Bye. Love you guys. Love you guys. <laughs>